All right, so bet we got a lot of stuff that's going on in these uh what my homeboy Milk would call these YouTube streets. Uh, we got the whole um election. Everybody trying to figure out who to choose to vote from from Kamala Harris, Donald Trump. What is your overall review on this whole thing, man? Because everybody, I know everybody has an opinion, but at the same time, are they really paying attention to what's going on? Because people want to vote for Kamala. Because that she's so quote unquote black, but we know who she, what she really is. And then you got Donald Trump. They don't want to vote for him because of the policies he got, and he want to give the police all police full immunity. So, what is your opinion about this whole situation, Big Dog? Um, first off, Kamala Harris is not black. She's pandering. She's claimed, documented, in interviews. And I'm a H time nigga, so there is zero tolerance for us, even being in question of what your race is. I'm not changing how I grew up and looking back at my history of me growing up and the way that my people grew up from from Texas and Louisiana and different places in the South. And it was ever acceptable for us to be in question of what your race is. And then when we could see videos when people are calling you Indian, you're not saying, well, I'm actually black and Indian. Or, yeah, my mom's Indian, my dad's black. It's just like she just riding with the Indian conversation. Mm -hmm. People don't know the Indian is the Indian, not the Native American or indigenous people. It's the Indian from Asia and everything like that. Mm -hmm. So now for you to come out, oh, she's black, she's black, that's a way to get us on their side, bro. And it's documented. She's done the pandering. They all pander. That's what politicians do. Mm -hmm. this, they, it, when, when politicians go at each other, understand my name is Urban Politicians. It's expressing one's beliefs. Politics is all about who you know, bro. It ain't about what you know. Mm -hmm. It's all about resources and relationships. So that's what they do, dog. They go and pander. She ain't no nigga. She's talking about she was in college listening to Tupac, man, knock it off, man. <laughs> so she can make the mean greens, too, man. She can make greens in a bathtub. I've never heard of it. If your household and your people and your, your family tree was making house, making greens in the tub, mm -hmm. then both power to y'all, I ain't never seen it. You know what I'm saying? My granny, 93 years old, and I was around her since a baby. My other granny deceased, but my granny is 93 right now. God bless us all. God my bless him. God bless uh, my, my, uh, my other, you know, grandmother still living and walking and everything, moving around. Fam, I didn't watch her cook. Who knows how many times? I ain't never seen her go do something out the tub. And Kamala, you 30-something years younger than her. Yeah. Thanks. What are you talking about? Thanks. So, uh, and then you was up there in Canada after you was 12. And Trump, he's white. He's 70 something years old. You think he don't got a racist bone in his body or have some type of discriminatory in a mindset against black people? Of course he does. You know what I'm saying? What's already known don't need to be explained. It should be understood. That's why I'm telling my people, and I'm only talking to my people because they don't want to say, well, we go off for of Kamala because she black or the lesser of the two evils. We did the black vote. For eight years already. Mm -hmm. Obama. What did they get the black community? Nothing. We did that already. Then people going to try to come up with these little things. Well, he did this. He did that. He did this. No. He did things that everybody was inclusive. Everybody. Right. right. Everybody was included in any of these things that was done that y'all called for black people. Wasn't nothing done specifically like, I'm going to do this for the black people. Also, we did the vote of the list of the two evils with Biden. What happened with that in these last four years? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. They be like, well, he, he forgave dead. He did this. Bro, he forgave people dead, period. He didn't say, let me go forgive black people dead. So why should y'all be voting for somebody just because they black? That's what I'm Look at the policies. Look at, do you really think this or that? They panderers, bro. So I'm like, no, I'm not voting for either one. Y'all do what y'all want to do. People ridicule me. Oh, your ancestors died for your right to vote. No, they did not. No. They died for my right to have a choice. Right. 
Like, hey, bro, we want to vote. We die for our right to vote, too. But just because I have a right to vote don't mean I got to participate in it if it ain't going to uh, benefit my people. See, the thing is with us, we lost sight of that getting together, marching and standing and, and folding the system to benefit us. When they didn't like something back in the day, they went without it. They say, you know what? We're going to suffer behind this. Mm -hmm. We're going to participate in this because it's not catering to our needs. Meaning, we'll boycott y'all buses. We'll boycott this. We'll boycott that. So now y'all got to come listen to what we got to say. If you would keep giving them our vote, why would they come do anything to do and pay attention to the black community? Has prison system stopped since any of these presidents got in office? Have you seen more money in community centers being put in the impoverished neighborhoods in the black community? in any of these neighborhoods or across the country? Or is it still the fucking same? No understanding, no. The niggas outside on the block hustling and trapping, they don't bring the drugs in. Yeah. They don't make guns. They don't do none of that. So just know, bro, we are the minority down in America. And, you know, it's more of us in the population than we are accounted for. Don't get me wrong. It's way more of us in the, in the, in the black uh, in black. Americans here, then they count, but nah, bro, they got to do something for us to ever earn my vote, and I ain't seen nothing yet, so. Right. So, so how come us as a culture can't come together and be our own representation? Because we know what we're dealing with at hand, but we're bickering and fighting between each other, trying to figure out who represent us when nobody's not representing us right now. Because we, we can't get on cold. You know, we, we lost that code. We lost that code in the last times after after the civil rights movement. We got complacent, man. After the crack era, after that crack era hit, it changed up our whole structure as black people in America, bro. Like that crack epidemic was, was crucial to us. They were putting in the redlining system, the government assistance things that took a lot of people and separated them from their family values, bro. And it made us be complacent and be okay in this world with our position. And it made us get in the mindset, oh, I'm just trying to survive for the day. I mm. really got time to focus on the betterment of the black people. I'm really just really focusing on myself and how I feel. You know what I'm saying? I tell people all the time, bro, other, if, other races and ethnicity, they are thinking generational when we be thinking momentarily for the day. Yeah, and my thing is with this: if Kamala, uh, Camilla, however you want to call it, uh, if she's so black, how come she never said anything about the uh, Sonya Massey situation? You know what I'm saying? Or like another situation that just happened in Illinois, something similar? How come she hasn't spoken out and said anything about that? Man, they probably got a piece if you Google it now because they make it sure. She do everything. This is what the media is, bro. You look at all these write-ups, bro. She got a hundreds and hundreds of write-ups and corrections and things going against narratives or against her own line. That's her team working right now. You know what I'm saying? That's her team working. So if you look all this up, they might have it on the internet of her speaking on it. But fam, y'all ain't seen this girl since since a Biden uh, won president. She ain't yeah. been moving around and linking with y'all as black woman and things like that. What does she say she going to do for black women? Nothing. That's what I'm saying. Nothing. All video saying, I'm not going to say I'm just going to do anything for black people. No. You know, <laughs> say that? You hear that? Yeah, I heard it. Loud and clear. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything that's only going to be, be benefit black people. Mm -hmm. But y'all can start sending this money overseas Y'all can so send this money to them. Y'all can so send this money to them. Y'all can so create this hate bill for them. I don't understand why people can't see the rocket science, but they have a lot of celebrities on their payroll from our community, mm -hmm. which we call them Democratic Shields. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, you know, Republicans have people endorsing them as well from our community, but it's way more obvious that, okay, that person that is endorsing Trump a lot of the times 
from our community, it's obvious when well, this is a business relationship because we already think in business. Oh, well, but on the Democratic side, the people from our community promoting that shit and promoting Kamala right now, they're making it seem like this is how they organically feel. Mm -hmm. when, when Kodak stood next to Trump, we knew it was because, nigga, you got that pardon. I'm like, nigga, any president offer you a pardon, you better endorse that nigga. Yeah. Yeah, because he ain't putting niggas back in slavery. He ain't finna say, oh, we gonna kill all these niggas, whatever, whatever. All of these are talking points, bro. So y'all feel how y'all want to feel. Both of y'all vote for. My goal is and my hope is we as black Americans can come together, get an understanding. Don't need to be me. I'm not the speaker. I'm not your role model. I'm not the idol. I don't have all the answers. But we're going to need some people from either every region, every state, somebody who's into things and who knows how to articulate themselves on their level, lawyers, whatever. Uh, people just understand the game. Y'all can get together as a conglomerate and present tangibles and things that we are demanding, things that we want as a black community, or we going to starve y'all of our participation in this election. Mm -hmm. That's my, my sentiment on that, bro. You know, I would have thought the next four years the boys get on point today because niggas gonna go out here and vote and nothing's gonna change. I'll be sleeping in, y'all. <laughs> well, I mean, of course, every, a lot of people feel like you know if you don't vote, your voice is not heard. But I don't feel like people understand there's levels to voting because there's electoral college that picks the popular vote of the president of the United States. But people don't ever look at within their own community. The, the mayor, the governor, the council, people don't never look at that, but they always look at a, at, a, at a higher source. Why do people believe that the president of the United States can make a change or do something for them? They somewhat can, but it's already a, a, a play out of the playbook of what they're supposed to do anyway. So why we don't never take care of our own community? Facts, man. Facts. And, see, that's the, that's the only way to look at it, bro. What'd you say? No, I ain't say nothing. No, I'm just, you know, I'm still letting you talk, but I just feel like it's crazy that people are really, like myself, I spoke about the Kamala situation. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of research. We have easy access to see what she's been doing, how she's been doing. You know, she was in, in control of the border for the last four years, which she had no control of, but didn't even care about. And so the last night, she spoke about the border and talking about what Donald Trump didn't do. But that was her job the, this, this past four years. And people still don't understand or wake up to understand it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying, bro. People are not getting, and they be talking about the black jobs. You know, they hear the way Donald Trump expressed the black jobs or whatever. People ain't woke up and realized now because they not around and they don't know. Some what the jobs that the immigrants taking is the ones that people don't want to do. That's where you're wrong, and that's where you confuse. And I was that nigga at one time. No, what happens is they took over good paying job markets mm -hmm. that companies just used to have to pay more money for. But when you have immigrants come in or migrants, let me call them migrants, not an immigrant. Immigrant is people who do it legally. Mm -hmm. These migrants come in and they work off the record. They're not paying taxes. They getting paid out cash. A job that somebody would have to pay you seventeen dollars an hour for, they cool with paying them ten, and they gonna work hard. Mm -hmm. It's not because they working better; it's because they have no other choice. It's the only money they can get, and they gonna overwork themselves. And but them overworking themselves is not because this is what the boss want. That's why he paying them because they gonna work harder. Now nah, I ain't gotta file these dudes on these taxes. I ain't got to do this. I ain't got to do that. I can just pay them. I ain't got to get them insurance. Nothing, nigga. They going to get these jobs, and I can pay them the bare minimum when really it's American people that could have had these jobs and got paid a decent wage, but it was cut out of a certain people's profits. But our community don't understand that. Yeah. 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 And I, I, I feel like our people are starting to be a little bit more lackadaisical when it comes to stepping up and handling business and the fact that we have to let two people delegate that for us and we know there's not anything good coming for us. So if you was to 
hypothetically, if you was the president of the United States, and we both know that's a tough job. That's a tough job, you know what I'm saying? It's, it, it's, it's really tough to us. If you was a uh, president of the United States, if you had any law or something that you could put in place or change, what would it be and why? Oh, fuck the law. The first thing I'm doing is getting black, uh, foundational black Americans will be granted reparations. Mm -hmm. Foundational black Americans will be granted reparations and there will be a black hate bill. You will be punished in more time added on if you create an act towards a black American because black Americans built this country. Black Americans made this country exist and work and have not been compensated. We're paying all these other so that's first and foremost. Just keeping it all the way a thousand and then on top of that but the border is very important because it's it, what they kind of doing bro they getting to the point where they're eliminating the middle class mm -hmm. and then we got on this economy, bro. So, all of them things most definitely is what I'm on, bro. Because everybody else is for their people, bro. And this that's how they supposed to be. But we be with but our, our people. They saying we being divisive or we're separating or this is dangerous. But everybody else can be proud of their people and be proud of where they from and mm -hmm. put their people first. Man, we off that shit now, bro. Me being prideful and wanting my people to succeed. Doesn't mean I want your people to fail. Do what y'all do. Mm -hmm. Do how y'all do. But we need ours. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, and big guy, you speaking on that so clearly. Why do you think that they put us down so so much, and they won't allow us to be like these other ethnic groups that have these bills to have reparations? And and now I know, what, like my opinion, it's like. If they give us reparations, we won't need them anymore. We really won't. Because I feel like we done been through so much as a culture for years and years. Pig feet, you know, give us scraps. And we ate off that, fed, fed a whole family. And we was good off of that for years. And people still don't understand, like, wow, we, we, yo, we, can't, we can't get rid of these people. Why did they put us down so much, big dog? You just answered it right there speaking, bro. You have to think. They know the talent we have. They know the skill that we have. A part of their survival is dependent on us. Us spending money with them. If they give us the money and the resources, we don't need them. Mm -hmm. It ain't that we not we, we don't have the intelligence to do it. It ain't that we don't know how to do it. It's, hey, the markets are controlled. So if we start having our own everything. Say we start having our own record labels and distribution. We got our own labels, but we don't have distribution. What are they needed for? They can't rap. They can't dance. They can't sing. Mm -hmm. They can't do none of this shit. You will not be needed. Yeah. If we don't have to go through y'all for the blank products on the fashion pieces for streetwear, you're not needed. We already got kind of certain inst educational institutes in certain places. Where, hey, if you let the top of the people of those be black, what do you need it for? Then, if they give black people lump sums, now we get to move next to them. We on the same level as them. Okay, that that little bit of superiority I had, I can't look at like I'm superior no more. Because that nigga got money now, too. He got him a house that he live in now, too. He can buy somewhere next to me and live next to me. And some of them, some of them, they don't, they, they'd rather die. Yeah. Not all. Not all of them be on that mindset, but some of them, they be on that, bro. That's how they is. And you're going to have certain people, they'll be welcoming. Man. Come on in, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? A few of them going to be like that. Yeah. So do you feel like, too, there's a lot of interracial marriages going on because you feel like a lot of, a lot of Caucasians is not going to really, I don't say not be around anymore, but you're starting to see a little bit more interracial relationships with the black man and the white woman, or black man and a uh, well, black man and a white woman, or a white man and a black woman. And you're not really seeing to me like white people, Caucasians like that anymore. Do you feel like that's like a part of agenda, or do you feel like that? Other race, well, the Caucasians within the race is kind of like, man, we don't believe in what y'all believe in. 
We see these people as beautiful and we want to migrate or inter integrate or whatever you want to say. So what's your thought process, thought process on that? Let's keep it a thousand, bro. They've been fucking, they've been sucking black dick and fucking black dick forever. Uh, the, the white people. Yeah. Been fucking the slaves since back in the day. That's how some of us is even light skinned. You know, we had a lot of black people that were already in here, already here in America before slavery came and these Europeans came over here and did all that weird shit they did. We had a bunch of foundational black Americans here and Native Americans here and other people here. They brought that shit over here and they brought Africans over here at that point in time. But now they're foundational black Americans in here just because they've been here for centuries now too. The mm -hmm. ones who have a lineage of slavery in America where you have a grandmother, grandfather, and, and multiple decades of your people being from this land. You are a foundational black American. Uh, a motherfucking centuries of your people being from this land who went through slavery. They was fucking niggas back then. The only difference is now is social media. Mm -hmm. and black and white are more integrated. That's why it's more accepted. Back in the day, they had to sneak to do it. Now they ain't got to hide. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. If I want to fuck on a nigga, I can go do it. If as long as a nigga have me or vice versa. You know what I'm saying? That's how the women looking. Or that's how the dudes looking. Like, hey, as long as he'll fuck with me or she'll fuck with me, it's straight. Da -da -da. That shit is now because black people live in the suburbs and stuff. People going to fuck with who they around. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Got all these kids going to school together and all that. That's all it is. It ain't even no rocket science behind it, but they don't even think too deep into it because it's more black people. It's a gang of black people that's still with more black people, and it's a lot of white people that would never fuck with a black person. That's yeah, facts. That is facts. And I, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy because, you know, I'm all the way in Virginia, you down there in Texas, and we probably see the same thing, even though we're in two different states. It's, I mean, People will be battling, you know, the genius, not the south. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but some people be like, you know, on uh, the the south is North Carolina and bottom, but you, we, we know it's a lot of, we got a lot of plantations here, you know what I'm saying? Y'all below the Mason Dixon line, right? Right, 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 right. Y'all like y'all a southern state, but pieces of Virginia might have an East Coast flavor. That's true. Like, y'all might have East Coast like flavor, some like style and influence, and might relate to what's going on from the from the nine uh, the uh, late eighties and nineties in New York, and have certain people that from Virginia who moved to New York and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Like a lot of people from from North Carolina and South Carolina. Um, I mean, if, if a lot of people from New York, if you go to New York, bro. A lot of their roots is probably from North or South Carolina or Virginia and shit mm -hmm. like that. You know, I, that's what I would think. If they, FBA, if they foundational black American, a lot of their roots might be from North Carolina, South Carolina type shit or Kentucky type shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I respect that. That was a so, hell of a thing. thing to solve to me. I be letting niggas pick and choose how they want to look at it, but I look at Virginia as a southern state. Y'all below the main base of Dixon line. Yeah. Yeah. And you know my opinion, too. I do feel like Virginia kicked off a lot with a lot of stuff as far as, like, plant. well, there's plantations everywhere in the South, but mainly, <laughs> I don't feel like, man, I don't know about anywhere else, but I know when I was in elementary school, all the field trips I've been on has been to plantations. And to see now, as an adult, they don't even do that. To these young ones nowadays, like you got the phone, the Google, and everything else. So, as this man, how is it? How is it important for you as a man, as a black man, to know who he is and where he comes from? Because I guess a lot of people now, social media is kind of like taking away and giving people another way to look at a uh, at a person. But as far as you and you staying content with who you is, but still being a better man. Just another day like everybody else or some people do. I used to grind within that. Man, you got to understand the value of being a black man, bro. Because in their mind, they want you to feel like you ain't valuable. They want you to think that your people are dumb. They want you to think that y'all are violent. They want you to think black on black crime is a real thing. It's not. 
your legacy, bro. We have to take pride in our legacy because that's all that's going to matter. You're going to be dead longer than you're going to be alive, bro. True. You're going to be dead longer than you're going to be alive. So your legacy is everything, bro. And who and what you and who you are as a person, your race, your identity, your ethnicity is very important, bro. You want to have these historical, this historical information about your people. You see how all these other people take pride in the countries where they're from and things like that? Mm -hmm. We have to take pride in where we're from and who we are as a people and understand we are fucking champions as a people, bro. We letting them make us think and dictate. That we are the worst of the worst, and it's all our fault. Mm -hmm. It's not true, bro. It's not true. They want us to think that only get scared when you be around niggas. Bam! People is killing all over the world. They killing in Ukraine and Russia right now. They killing in Israel and Palestine right now. Yeah, the cartels never stop going to war. War is Mexico got more murders every year. More murders than any city in America every year. Wow. But they don't, they, they, but they always want to talk about black on black crime. So that's why I want niggas to understand that crime is not about race. It's not about culture. It's not, when I say culture, I mean as in your ethnicity, your blackness, or your, or your country, or da da da. It's based off of proximity and humanity, bro. It's a human thing, but the narratives of you not understanding who you are as a people, they will make you think that oh, all blacks do is kill each other. All blacks do is hate each other. Let me ask you this. Do you know what the number one cause of death is in the black community? The media? Nope. Heart disease. Ah, uh, okay. okay. I, I just like to ask people that because and don't feel bad about that. Don't feel bad about that at all. A lot of people don't know that. A lot. Way too many. But they're not teaching us that in the media. Let me ask you this. And I just learned this this year. Do you know anything about Martin Luther King's parents? Mm, yeah. Just a little bit. I know what happened to his mom. I see you posting a joke about what happened to his mom after. I just learned that. And that's what I'm saying. Don't feel yeah. bad. Don't feel bad about that heart disease situation because 2024 is when I found out that Martin Luther King mama was assassinated. Bro, that was crazy. That was it crazy. Hurt. That it was hurt. crazy. So, bro, that's why I be like, nah, dog. Like, fuck that, man. We gotta, we gotta just control our narrative and start realizing that they gonna if if you don't learn and get your own narrative, we have the Googles like you said earlier. We got the technology man we got to do our own research bro you got to talk to people you got to use your brain and start realizing well nah it ain't like that well damn nah nigga we ain't no worse than nobody else but they gonna put it in the media like that bro these are humans running these platforms dog they make it easy so just know that yeah and they definitely um they try their hardest to be able to suppress us as much as they can and then the fact that i see that Certain people are starting to realize a lot of this stuff is staged that they're putting out here on the media too as well. Now, I just don't understand about the whole president campaign and why people are not paying attention to one than the other or why people feel like, you know, Jeff, why are you talking more about Kamala than Trump? I mean, we already know how Trump is, but Kamala's the one now she claiming black. But as you see, there's other things out there on your Twitter or X that shows you she's never really claimed to be black until it was time to be black. You know what I'm saying? That's a lack of pride, fam. That's a that's that shows you how we don't have black pride. Somebody trying to claim black, but they wasn't claiming black, and you can see them in conversations only claiming Indian and never telling the girl interviewing her or doing a vlog with her. Oh, I'm black and Indian. No. Like, y'all grew up around black people. You've never been around a black person that had a black father when somebody was calling them Indian. They ain't going to acknowledge, well, you know, I'm black too. Like, come on, why? And that's a lack of pride. Mexicans wouldn't let you get away with that. Nah. No. Asians wouldn't let you get away with that. Any other 
identity, they don't let you get away with that. Any other race, they don't let you get away with halfway claiming or false claiming. But now, watch what she, if, if she was to win. Do y'all think it's going to say first, second, because that would make her the second black president? Y'all think she really want to put second black president on now? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. She going for the first woman president. Yep. And Running as a fucking Southwest Indian, bro. It just is what it is. Yeah. So, yeah. That's that, man. So, do we have to suffer another four years for us to understand that people is not like us, even though they claim that they supposedly are like us? Man, look like we do. I'm just telling people the real. Just understand, bro. I'm not even trying to force people. I'm not even getting upset with people. You know, I'm turning up on my YouTube channel, of course, when we get have people on there or whatever. That's just going to be part of that game. But, mm -hmm. man, overall, in this conversation, bro, you can't force these people to face reality and accept facts. They brainwashed. They stuck on stupid. And see, I just have to realize a lot of y'all ain't like me, nigga. Like, you yeah. can't have to play black to me. It ain't no... I'm, I'm not. I was. I, I was an adult, not letting people know that I was black. Like, come on, nigga, you not black. I just put that shit in somebody comments right now. Talking about, man, why y'all focused on somebody race? Are you fucking serious? Don't they ask you about your race or color in your job application? Everything in this country is built off of race. But come see, on, man. Reason is different. You know, a lot, a lot of the New York niggas. A lot of them, not all of them, they don't see race. They think we all equal and shit. Yeah. That's not how this is, bro. And that's, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, what, I mean, yeah, so, yo, man, you, you definitely dropped with some jewels on me. Um, When it comes to you putting out the messages that you want people to hear, and when it's specifically, I want to say, for African Americans and black people, do you feel like that uh, social media, Instagram, or YouTube will try to come in and say, no, nah, they'll clip the, the video that you posted? Because you know how YouTube be funny and Instagram be funny a lot, well, sometimes too. How do you bounce back from that when you see that they flag your video or something that you're speaking that's important? Because I've been noticing they've been hitting people with that lately. You know what I'm saying? Especially, it was not drama fire. It's straight to the truth. It's then and there, cut and dry. And YouTube said, nah, we're not about to let you just, uh, just get out. Certain, certain verbiage, <laughs> man. Certain words I stay away from, bro. Like, I just know. You could think like, oh, I'm finna show them, da -da -da, you on a platform. It is what it is, bro. So, you know, if you're calling people to certain names and you're pushing things that they have deemed as not true, they can take your platform for that. You know what I mean? So, and, and, and I stay away from those things and I know, and I speak around it in a way to where, okay, I'm not just going to come out and say this and this and this and that, or they did this and this and that. I'm going to explain it with the facts of things that are documented. And I'm a worded in the way of like, hey, fam, when we talking about this, like I talk about Kyrie, right? A lot of people that tell me, oh, you're, you're a victim. This I do. Oh, stop being victim. Stop being a victim. Mm -hmm. Stop being a victim. Oh, you're complaining. And I said, okay, did y'all tell that to the community that had issues with Kyrie Irving's tweet? Yeah. You know, we had people protesting on Kyrie on the sidelines with shirts on and this and this and that. Did y'all, what y'all telling them? Because they say, well, you didn't go through slavery. Your people did. Okay. These guys just sitting on the side of the bench for Kyrie. They, in their 20s and 30s, they didn't go through what their ancestors went through. Yeah. So, did y'all tell them that they're being victim mentality? That they're having victim mentality? Did you tell them they're weak? Did you tell them they're complaining? That's how I get those points across like with I, with those type of conversations when it comes to that. But other than that, bro, if you pushing real stuff, bro, and you ain't this and this and that, bro, they ain't taking no videos, die. I've had strikes for shit like, you know, um, um, like fights and shit or just certain things that was in the video they deemed as inappropriate because 
I like even I didn't edit out the bad part of the fight, and they'll still hit me with this is an example of this or this or that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I didn't had that happen. I didn't had a female on video for some she didn't post it on Instagram, and I guess they call it a nip slip. Like one female, it was some rappers involved with a female. And I did a video on it and I grabbed one of her little posts from my Instagram when she was like dancing. She wasn't even dancing. She was just like looking in the mirror and I put it in the video and they say, this is community guidelines or whatever. I'm like, man, get the fuck out of here now. So <laughs> I don't do all that little shit, but it ain't, you know, it be whatever, bro. It's like, you just got to know, like, if, am I coming off with a real message? Am I talking or am I just name calling? And am I saying things? that sound like a bunch of conspiracy theory type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I, I, that's just what you got to do, bro. Like, say like the presidential camp getting shot, right? You can feel how you want to feel about it. But if they say he got shot and you make a video saying he didn't with well, Donald Trump, not the president, but Donald Trump. Yeah. If you make a video say, man, this is a conspiracy theory. Donald Trump didn't get shot. Look at this. Look at that. And you running with that rabbit hole then they're going to probably come hit you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just how it works. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Well, we got one more question for you, man, before you uh, before you get up out of here. Yeah. If you have one word to describe yourself, big dog, what would it be and why? Man, I'm going to call myself the spokesman, man. And the reason why, because we're going to speak the real on, on us, dog. I'm going to say the spokesman, man. Mm -hmm. that, that's the word I describe myself right now with. Spokesman. Yes, sir. And I say that because of the fact me understanding that me being able to utilize and understand like, man, doing this talking and this speaking is my loophole, bro. Like, that's a loophole that can reach so many people. You got to understand, like, I'm going back looking at all Malcolm X videos, and I'm not trying to be the guy that's the leader for the black people. I'm not Martin Luther King. I'm not the perfect guy. I'm not, I don't got the answers. I can't save nobody. I can't put no money on all y'all table, and I don't speak for the black people. But when I say I'm the spokesman, I say because I found out myself by speaking, I can have an impact in this world, bro. Mm -hmm. And I got an impact in this world because I say, bro, I got people watching me and all over the world on YouTube, bro. Like I, and they telling me they they feeling what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. They DMing me, bro. I be having so many DMs, I can't even read them all. So many texts, like just emails, I can't read them all. So many comments, I can't read them all. Then I go to the mall. If I go to the mall, it, motherfuckers in there know me. They finna holler at me. If I'm outside grocery store, they gonna know me. They gonna holler at me. You know what I'm saying? That's so it. by speaking, I didn't reach these people, bro. Just yeah. by speaking. So that's what I'm going with right now, man. Mm -hmm. We this shit. Yes, sir. Hey, man. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know you doing, big dog. Now, I was going to say, bro, you got to get you some other shit in, too, bro, on some trending shit, dog. Oh, yeah, man. That's why I'm here talking to the uh, OG himself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was going to say, what else, what else going on you seen? Because that's how you get your shit rolling, too, just the shit that's trending. You know what I'm saying? You got to clip that shit up. Mm -hmm. You on live right now? This just this recorded. Oh, no. This is Zoom, man. Oh, oh, we're recording right now. Now, I was going to say shit, you got to get you some shit on some shit like it just really happened today. You know what I mean? You Because when you upload it, when you upload that shit, you can just crop it and that'll just help you get some more shit. So while you're on here with me, just find if you've seen anything today that I can run through real quick, man, go ahead and you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, or the last two days, man, this happened, that happened, like something that happened today in the news or something that happened yesterday or a couple of days ago they kind of struck your attention ask me about that on the fly real quick and i talk about it for a little like five minutes and then you run that up as a clip you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. yeah i'm hey look man 
my how you say it like what Nipsey said, I be stealing. So I be I be really be paying attention.